Okay, there are some basic aspects of Boolean logic that you need to understand to make searching your scholarship a lot easier. And this applies regardless if it's Google Scholar or if you're searching one of the databases that belong to the TUC library. It actually works regardless of what search engine you're using, if it's academic or not academic. So let's use our example from the last time. So we're searching autism, lag, and schedule. So when I search for that, what it actually is searching for, it's searching for each of these words individually. So it's not putting them together. So one of the most common bits of Boolean logic that you will see used are the quotation marks. And if I were to put something in quotation marks, so if I did autism and then I had leg schedule in quotation marks, what it's actually going to be looking for now is it will look for the words leg schedule written together. So as an example, this first one here, leg reinforcement schedules, because reinforcement is in the middle, that should remove that one unless somewhere else in the article it has lag schedule written exactly like that. So by again, by searching on that, you'll see it changes the nature of my results and it allows me to find ones that are closer to what it is that I'm looking for. Now, one of the another common thing you will often find in this is the use of the minus. So when you put minus something there, it's actually looking to eliminate it. So if I were to have autism and then leg schedule in uh, quotation marks and then a minus school, what it's actually searching for is it's going to search for articles that have the word autism in it, that have the phrase leg schedule in it written as I've written it there, and then that do not include the word school. So it's going to exclude all of the ones that have the word school. So if you think about the fact that the search I did for autism with leg schedule as a phrase in quotation marks, it generated 173 results. If I want to now remove all of those 173 that have the word school in it, you can see now I'm down to 52 results. So it's allowed me to further refine things. Another common piece of Boolean logic that you will find is when I search for the word autism, leg, and schedule, it's actually searching for the word schedule. Now in some cases it will find the word schedules because obviously schedules is only schedule with an S on it, but it will not find the word scheduling as an example because it is looking for things that only have the E in there. Now, if I wanted to find something that had leg schedule, but it could also have leg schedules, but could also have leg scheduling, it, all I have to do is replace the end of this with a uh, asterisk, which is your shift eight on your keyboard. And what that is telling it now is it's asking it to find this stem, so S-C-H-E-D-U-L, plus any ending to it. So it could be scheduling, it could be schedules, it could be schedule. It will find all of them for me now. So one of the things you can see here it found actually this is an interesting one I guess this one here happens to be one that uh, uh, has paid or line breaks in it because it actually found S-C-H-E-D-U-L and then a dash and then on the next line it had I-N-G on it but it actually found that item in there because it was looking for all the derivatives of S-C-H-E-D-U-L. So those are the three most common ones that I find are most useful when searching for the research. So again, it's the quotation marks if you're looking to have words together, the minus sign if you're looking to exclude certain terms or certain words, and the asterisks if you're looking for versions of a particular uh, item. So that's another little tip to help 
you with your searching of the literature regardless of what database you're looking in.